Here's the new table saw with all the parts laying all over. Gigantic heavy fence, old style uh, delta fence. Saw's in nice condition. Needs new uh, belts. Uh, but it's pretty clean. We got something sprayed on it here, which was obviously got through the steel, so I have to clean that off. Very annoying screeching sound that's coming from either here or here, and I'm going to have to find a punch to punch this out to get this shaft out of there. Well, the table saw is in the shop now. Just cleaned up the top of it. Kind of a mess. A lot of scratches longitudinally in the surface. Uh, it's worn out pretty good right in this area. But it's cleaned in wax and really smooth. And if you put a straight edge on here, light's coming through where it got the most abuse. But this piece of 4,000 plastic won't go through it. So I say it's probably maybe three two thousandths. The motor is nice and quiet. So uh, I think we're all right. And I used um, three, or made up, three uh, link belt belts, so it's a uh, it really runs really nice and smooth. To show how smooth it is, I'm going to try and stick a, a nickel on edge and start it up. Pretty smooth. This was the plinth I designed uh, for the table saw. Uh, bad idea. The floor is not level, and on top of that, I still have to get the table saw up to the level of the outfeed table. It just it's useless. So instead, I'm going to make this channel piece here that fits up underneath the table saw. Uh, the bottom of the table saw has this little edge that goes around, and that piece of angle iron will fit right nearer to that. These will then get welded to the bottom of the frame and they'll slide down into the hole that I drilled and this will be used then as an adjustment. Both will look like this once they're welded in place. Now I got a plumb bob from the very edge here. I've got a mark on the floor exactly where that point is. And now I've done it on the other side. So that allows me to draw a line between this point and that point. So that shows me where the front edge of the table is. Well, I think I got it. The table is eight inches exactly from the edge of the outfeed table here, which makes up for the distance that the wing goes on. It's perfectly square to these bolts, with the bolts sticking out a quarter of an inch to match the quarter of an inch back rail. And the table saw base is parallel with the line drawn on the floor. So here's the square that I drew on the inside of this. All I have to do is just align this exactly with that. These four little holes I drilled are the centers of the bolts that I will weld to the bottoms. And here it is all welded up. And there it is all primed. Holes are drilled, the washer's in place, now this goes on top. 
Okay, it's sitting on the adjustable plinth and I just squared the saw blade. So it's dead nuts. And there's the saw sitting on one of the bolts. Rear bees rails on, front rails on. The gauge. Exact on both sides. I can't believe what Biesemeyer did here. They, this, the lever here, they powder coated the whole thing, including the threads. I had to tap the damn thing out so I'd get the goddamn ball on here. I can't believe it. Whatever. The right extension is built and I'm adding the legs to it. These are the legs supplied with the Biesemeyer fence. The table is getting waxed. I finished the side table. Right now I've got uh, some drips of Jeffco facing epoxy in there, which will s be most like the melamine when it's sanded down or, or cleaned off. Yeah, the saw's in. Everything's perfect. Everything's aligned. I've got a full 30 inches of rip. The setting of this front angle iron rail is very exact. You have to set it to exactly to a 32nd of an inch. And the reason you have to do that is because it's, it sets the height of the fence above the table, which is about a 32nd of an inch. So it's got to be exactly right from one side to the other. Vacuum table, plastic storage box, finished. All nice and neat, fits under there perfect. Done! And the shop is clean, pretty clean. Still need some organization, but we can start working on the uh, kitchen again, finally. <laughs>